My name is Marianne Devins and I teach German to all of Key Stage 2 at Hellingdon Primary School in London. I'm very proud of my year sixes this year who really took to our translation topic at the end of the year and chose to enter some of their translations into the Stephen Spender Prize for the first time. We have more than 40 languages spoken by the children at home in our school and um, some of them chose to use their home languages. I helped them choose the poems from the Stephen Spender Prize website which was very useful and they did their translations independently, submitted them to me for me to upload to the competition. In class we've been working on translation for a t full term, looking at things such as how to translate cultural um, aspects of a text in Harry Potter books or in Emma and the Detectives, and how to create something that sounds good in English, um, even though it's not the language it was originally written in. Um, we worked on this in class, and then the children had the opportunity to work on it independently in German or in their home languages to submit to the prize. I'm really pleased with how many children chose to submit completely independently. Hello, my name is Lucas Chanel and I'm a French and German teacher at WHSB Westcliff High School for Boys. Uh, I've had my classes participate in the Stephen Spender Prize. Uh, I've, um, I've shown them the booklets uh, from the Stephen Spender Trust during the time lesson and we uh, practice translating uh, into, from French into English. Yeah. My name is Tanya Genta. I'm a German and Russian teacher at the same school. Um, I've always enjoyed doing translations. I've translated various Kafka texts uh, for my own amusement. And for this particular competition, I decided to translate my favorite Russian poem by Mikhail Diamantov into English. Um, I'm Jesse McKeown. I'm head of modern foreign languages at Westcliff High School for Boys. And we were really pleased with the participation of our students. It's great to have some staff um, send off. I sent off a poem as well from Sardinia into English. Um, but we had entries in Yoruba, Arabic, Indonesian, Ukrainian, to mention some of the languages. My name is Julia Bohr and I translated a poem from Irish. My name's Rose Fletcher and I chose to translate a poem from French. My name is Sarah Liebrecht and I translated a poem from French. This poem evokes my own childhood memories of playing in a village brook as summer cools to autumn, and it seemed to me to draw out the spiritual essence of the everyday that we often miss. My favourite bit of the poem to translate was the part where the noises of the animals are rendered by the poet. Um, it was quite an unusual description, but I really liked that um, kind of menace that the sounds were imbued with. I decided to try and emulate the rhyming pairs and this was the most challenging, but also the most absorbing part of the translation process. Falling Leaves by Cécile Sauvage It's autumn outside my soul's tight cocoon. The ponds are all scorched by the sun's long kiss. Horizons fill with leaves, end tipped with fire, while rainbow's arcing roof holds back the storm, a stained glass window melting in the air. The Luxembourg Palace Théophile Gautier. The paths of the Luxembourg would often resound with sparrows joyful twittering round upon round and to soft winds caress under curve of the sky Asia gentle and mild orange blossom shrubs shy would stretch fragrant branches whilst the chestnut trees soared with fine panicle garlands of flowers adorned. Eve of Autumn by Dori Negriva where August tips into autumn a river journeys through the forest. Here a man and his grandson clamber down the bank with stones to throw. Their pebbles skitter and slip across the watery skin, creating circle upon circle, each shimmering ring caressing another. A tree spirit gazes from above. Distracted, she loosens her grasp and a handful of turning leaves, green, golden, tumbles into the stream. 